can't see her. Okay, here we have a little rattlesnake. We're going to grab her with the gentle giant tongs, put her in the bag system. <clears throat> Want to catch the snake about mid body if possible, just so it isn't as stressful on the snake. You don't have to squeeze real hard. You can coax the snake into the bagging system. Let me untie it first. Grab it about mid body. You don't have to squeeze real hard. If you get scared, the gentle giant makes it pretty smooth about not hurting the snake too much. And a lot of times, snake will halfway go in here. If not, just stick him all, all the way down, lift the bag up. That will keep him down in there. You already got that bottom tied off. So now, with this, the weight of the snake, we can twist this up, keeping him down low in the bottom. And we can also lock it off by putting it there. Pretty well see where the snake is, so we know we don't want to touch anything below that. So what we can do now is you can uh, probably wouldn't hurt to either tie this off so, you, so nothing happens. I'm going to do it kind of quick to where I don't even tie it off, just to show you how it can be done. Everything's tied to where the snake can't get to me either way. He can't get back out of there. So I'm going to push this snake on down in there a little closer. I know he's right there. I can actually see him. I'll put a twist in this so he can't immediately get out. And you can untwist it, maneuver him a bit, and he will probably head that direction. He's looking to get out. He's looking to get himself out of there anyway. Just give him a corner to where he can come out of there. coaxing a bit so we can find his way to the exit point. Once again, put the tong down. If you know absolutely for sure the snake's not on the other side of this, we've got a little tab here you can hook a hook through so the snake doesn't get you. And once again, you can kind of pull and maneuver. The snake's going to head that direction as soon as he gets a chance here and figures out that that's kind of an escape route. What we want to do is make sure it stays in the, in the bucket. Or we can hook this up vertically either way. Right now we're just trying to coax him to move around a little bit. He'll find his way through there as soon as he gets rolling here. Here he goes. There goes the snake. He's taking off right down into there. Want to watch, make sure he doesn't get back out any of the, the spots because this is a smaller restraining tube I'm feeding in. But off he goes, down he goes. Watch your hands. Close it. Lock it. One thing you need to always do, take the keys out. Never, never leave the keys in. If the keys are in here, the lock is tripped and it can vibrate with it just sitting here going down the road and this can slowly work its way open. A uh, big hazard if that happens. Other than that, it's pretty well locked up in a safe, solid way of, of transporting the snake. You can reverse this, undo this, open the lid. Once again, be very careful, make sure the snake's not around it. You can look through the small window to get an idea of where he's at. Lay this down and let him release himself after you catch it. Another way you can get into the lid, once again, be very careful. You can unscrew the lid, keeping your hands in the center here and use this as a block. And there's the snake just sitting there, relaxed, comfortable, not stressed out. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for humane, safe ways to do things with these animals. Now, if you want to lock this up and make sure that if this is being transported, you can take a zip tie similar to the way they put on a tractor trailer truck, drill a very small hole through one side of the bucket, one side of this, zip tie it right through this glass window as well and zip tie it and that seals the whole bucket until 
it gets to its destination point. And if them tabs have never been jacked with, then you, you've got a, a secure uh, evidence container, basically. If you have any questions, call us at Midwest Homes, <clears throat> area code 816-537-4444, or you can get us at tongs.com. I'm Dana Savarelli. Stay safe.